Hey booze, so starting today's video a little bit differently, we are literally cruising, and by we I mean you and I, and um, I just passed someone alongside the road who was selling flowers, and we are in a very tough time, so I figured I would pick some up for Jarrell. Um, of course I could go to a flower shop and do that, um, but you know what? Why not? I was at a red light, and you're supporting people, and it makes me feel good, and I very often just kind of do things for Jarrell just because. Um, today, why don't we make some Indian? If you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned to this episode of Booze Cruise. Hi, I'm Jarrell. And I'm David. I am 34 years old. six and it is time to cook dinner so i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me um by the time you guys see this it'll be tomorrow which means that it's hump day and i'm just curious how you guys are doing i know that times are weird and hard and for all of us honestly it's it's been crazy so how are you guys comment down below how has your week been Maybe comment down below with some like one great thing that uh, has happened to you this week. Uh, one great thing that has happened to me this week is well, hmm, there's been a lot of good things. I don't know. Um, I'm just grateful. That's what I'm gonna say. I am just grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful uh, that I have food to cook and that I have a home and that I have someone who loves me to share all of that with. And that just is a blessing. So what are you grateful for? Tell me something awesome. Uh, and let's make dinner. I didn't really tell you what we were gonna make. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, we are gonna make some Indian curry. It's gonna have cauliflower rice, chicken, uh, I mean onions, garlic, curry, obviously. And it's a coconut curry. Um, and I do have a secret ingredient that whether you are keto or not is pretty delicious. Um, some of you may like Indian food. If not, stick around because it's fun to hang out and this is delicious. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So we are starting with screaming hot oil. Uh, I am using avocado oil, but you use whatever oil you would like. And this is chicken breast. Two gymungous chicken breast. Um, I already seasoned them. I literally just used the standard onion, garlic, pepper, salt. That's it. So I'm going to make the even layer across the bottom. And then, you know what I say, don't touch it. As soon as it is there, do not touch it. You want it to get brown and delicious and you don't want it to tear. So the way we accomplish that is by putting it in, don't touch it. I'm going to be back when it has browned. I would say maybe five to 10 minutes. It's going to continue cooking because we got to make a sauce. It's not curry yet. So it's been a couple of minutes and you see that? Okay. That is what you want. See all that brown? You don't want this to steam. You don't want it to boil. You want brown. Brown is flavor and that is legit perfect. So. You see all that brown chicken? That's what we want. And I'm going to add some onions. We got some chopped onions. I don't add these in first because these are frozen, which means there's water in them. And you want everything to not wet that chicken so that it gets nice and brown. So we're going to put in these onions and we're going to let those saute down. And it will add some moisture to the chicken. And we're going to need some fresh garlic because you can't cook anything without garlic. I'm just using, I say fresh, I'm just using minced garlic. <laughs> this is the big one, the big mamma jamma. Um, you know, garlic to taste, this is going to be about two to three cloves of garlic right in there. And we're just going to let this saute about five more minutes. 
Okay, so you see I said this would add moisture. You want to scrape up the bottom. That's called fond. You want to get all of that up from there because it is going to add num num nums deliciously good. And also just right now, this is the base to just about anything you want to make. It's just well seasoned chicken, onion, and garlic. You could go Italian, you could go Mexican, you could go any way you want. That's one of the good things about cooking is it's almost like you can travel. You can go anywhere in the world at this point, but we are going to India. So it's about five minutes later and we are gonna come in with the coconut portion of this coconut curry. So this is coconut milk, pure coconut milk. That's it. Look at the ingredients. So there's 150 calories, two carbs, one fiber. So one net carb, coconut and water, citric acid as a preservative. Be careful, sometimes this has sugar in it. You can get sweetened coconut milk. No, 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 not if you're on keto or not if you're trying to watch your carbs. I promise you, it doesn't honestly change the flavor at all. You can add in your own sweetness and we'll talk about that in a second because I am going to do just that. So we let this continue and we gotta add the curry. So this is just Kroger curry powder and it's a mixture of ingredients, spices including red pepper and turmeric. This is also to taste. However much curry you would like, and you can also start, listen, if you're worried about curry and you're like, I don't like that, start small. Just add a little bit in, see what you think. You can always go up from there. But what we're trying to do is we are trying to build flavor and spices. And again, disclaimer, this is obviously not authentic, you know, like uh, Indian food, but we are at a time when people cannot all go out. That's two bay leaves. You can't all go out for dinner. And also sometimes that gets super expensive. So if you can, why not just do it at home? This is ginger. Now careful with ginger, it is a very strong spice just a dabble do ya. That's maybe a half a teaspoon. Just a little bit, not too much. Stir that in, oh my goodness. It sounds like a cooking show, but I really wish that you guys could smell this because geez Louise, it is smelling amazing already. So I'm gonna go in with a little of this. This is chili garlic sauce only because I like a spicy curry. Now, this is an Asian ingredient, obviously. It has Asian writing on it, but you can really get creative. Don't put a lot of this. This is also to taste, just a little bit. When I tell you this stuff is hot, this will take, well, listen, take the hair right out of your nose. Sure will, but in the best way, if that makes sense. <laughs> So, we're gonna stir this in. Again, we have curry, we have coconut, we have bay leaves, we have ginger, chili and garlic. Now, I promised you a secret ingredient, and I don't lie. Oh, you can't see me. Oh, my face is hot. Okay, never mind. You're just gonna get talking hand. So, this is sweet leaf sweet drops in coconut. It's flavored stevia sweetener. Do you see that? This has one carb, and let me tell you, if you love coconut curry and you want that coconut flavor, now you're getting some coconut flavor from the milk, but let this, this will have people be like, what? Just a quick squirt. Now, guys, this will not make it super sweet. Although, to be fair, coconut curry does have a little bit of sweetness. You want to balance out those flavors. So you do have a little bit of sweetness there, but also guess what? Boom, lime juice. If you have fresh limes, congratulations. You're better than I am because I did not go and get fresh produce, but if I did have fresh limes, I would absolutely, you know, put a little in there. So what that does is that adds a little bit of tartness. It also combats that sweetness some. So right now it's just like basically a chicken soup, you know? Well, we're gonna keep on adding to this. And I have some rice cauliflower. This is garlic and herb. Um, 
I would probably normally just use regular, but listen, use what you have. I'm not going to the grocery store to get plain cauliflower just because, uh, whoop, I almost got it right in there. We almost had plastic curry. I'm not going out to get plain cauliflower just because I'm making Indian. Look at that. That's just adding flavor too. So now we have our cauliflower in there. Delicious. And it added a little green, which we're going to add some green later too. So we're going to let this continue to reduce. I would say about another 15 minutes. This is quick and easy to let it thicken a little. And then we're going to come back and add some cream cheese because that adds such richness and it thickens it without adding flour or anything like that because this is not going over rice. If you are not keto, absolutely. Boil the rice, Uncle Ben's, put it in. But we're not gonna do that. So, see you in 15. Y'all see how thick, rich, and delicious this is? But, mm-hmm, put a kickstand under your fanny because I'm about to knock you over with this cream cheese. All right, so we have four ounces of cream cheese. An entire block is eight ounces of cream cheese. So this is about half. Normally, I wouldn't use this spoon and get all this curry and this cream cheese because nobody wants that on their bagel. Not that I'm eating bagels because of, you know, low carb and keto, though there are low carb keto bagel recipes. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Also, do you put cream cheese on your bagels? Or are you a butter and a jelly kind of person? All right, so four ounces of cream cheese. What you wanna do is stir that in nice and gentle. Also, you can't just leave this. This is thick and amazing and delicious. Even if you, I mean, I don't know, if you have a crazy nonstick pot, then maybe you can leave it and walk away and, you know, grab a glass of iced tea or yell at your kid, do what you need to do. But I say, come on over and make sure you stir it every now and then just to be sure that it is not sticking and they're not gonna talk about you at dinner time. So as soon as this is incorporated, I would let this simmer for about five more minutes and then you are done. This goes in a bowl. You can make a little, you know, if you're not keto, a little naan on the side. If you are, uh, you know, just get a bowl because you can't have you can't have any naan. You cannot. So you see how thick this is getting, and this is so rich. If you wanted to add a little heavy cream, also finish it out. Sometimes I do with a little butter because you know, butter chicken. But this is rich enough. Oh 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 oh! I almost forgot there is one other ingredient. I was like, where is the color? Ha ha! Look. Now, I didn't realize until very recently that I could do this. This is just fresh spinach, like the spinach that you make a salad out of. What I do is I just throw it just like that into the freezer and it comes like this and you can literally crush the spinach up in the bag. Oh my gosh, this is probably so loud and annoying on the, on the camera. And then you can just stir it right into your dishes and it comes out like little leaves of glory. You see that? So fresh spinach. Now, of course, you can buy the leaves, you know, the, the frozen spinach already, but when you're making certain dishes, this really, this texture and the size of these really makes a difference. Also, how often have you thrown out bags of fresh spinach because it went bad or it got wilted or whatever? If you're gonna use it in a dish, just put it in your freezer, as is. If you catch it on sale, as is. Now, I don't know that you could defrost this and make a salad. I'm not saying that that is something you can do because I have not tried that, but, and that's done. Do you see this? Minutes. Anyway, this is finished. I'm going to turn this off and wait for Jarrell to get home and see how he likes this, even though I already know he loves this. Anything, <laughs> He likes curry. He likes uh, coconut curry. He likes yellow and red curry. And he'll probably want a little bit more of a lime. Actually, let me just do that now. Let me just add a little bit more lime to this, a little pop. And that'll be for him because he likes that kind of limey taste. Again, to taste. If you don't like that limey taste, leave it out. You ain't got a pucker. All right, this is done. I, oh, 
I always stir the spinach in at the last second so that it stays green and bright. See how bright and green that is? Come on. Can't get that with a big frozen block. Look who made it home. Hi. Um. He got his flowers. I got my flowers. I walked in and yeah, we do another video. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Indian food. So from my understanding, it's chicken. It is cauliflower rice and other things <laughs> but i've had this before but it's one of my favorites <laughs> i love it it has a sweetness to it it's very good because david david knows i love um thai food <laughs> so i love um coconut chicken it's like rice and has like coconut curry and all that stuff but i love it so much and then he gave my own rendition of it, which is this, a keto version, which I love. So, so there it's less soupy, soupy than what I usually get, but this is great. It's sweet, coconutty, chickeny, limey, limey, <laughs> everything flavorful. <laughs> it's everything. Yay. And I love it. So, all right, we're going to, we're going to have dinner. Let's eat. So. Thanks for spending our nights with us. It's hump day for everyone. So um, I was telling everyone to tell us something that they like something great that happened to them this week or something they're grateful for. And do you have anything? I'm grateful for. Or just this something new great. Place yes. For you, for these onions that are flourishing. Yes. <laughs> I just looked over it. Like, oh my God, it's super long. I was how you looked um, there, not to the... Yeah, but I'm, I'm just grateful for everything that's happening. Like, I know it's a pandemic and lots of things are happening that's kind of horrible. But in this time, I think we can be grateful for what we have. I'm, I'm grateful for this apartment, for David, and just for being able to be happy in this and smile through this. And I hope everyone's doing the same thing. Amen. So, I'm going to smile through it. Eat my curry. We're about to watch some woman whoop. Which is we'll right on the see this? See this? <laughs> All so right. Sloppy. But we're about to watch some, some Wilma Finger do. Yes. She's a YouTuber on from Canada. But some drag race reviews. Yeah. Yay! Check her out. Wilma Finger do review. Yes, we Check love her. her. We love her. But we're about to watch that and I'm gonna eat this. Yes. Alright, we love you guys. Bye you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It's at Booze Cruise at B O O S C R U I Z cause you're worth it. E. See you tomorrow, maybe. Bye.